Today, what I'm doing is uh, replacing the wiper motor because it was gone. I tried a, a procedure that I read before that we can remove the motor without uh, uh, remove the coal right there. But what happens is I couldn't disconnect the connector. I was in a very hard position, so I decided to remove the coal. But I tell you, it's a very difficult job. And uh, here you can see is the old old piece already out so I left the motor in there just just for the for in a little bit I'm going to disconnect the connector for you guys to see how how difficult that is and uh, here we, we go in a little bit in terms of uh, of uh, the coal is connected on that boat that boat on that one and that one here on the side is where comes the trick part it connects it here and here the body connects on this on these two portions of of this part but the tricky one are are that one that in reality you need to come out through here to access there that connects it, this portion with that portion that is a is a trick one that is hard to find the other one in the last one is this one and then you need to remove the side here you need to be very careful when you're removing the side because this this side is is hold by few screws here he attaches here and in his sliding hook up on these uh, on these places here and uh, but the problem is the screws that hold the piece are hidden underneath this portion top here it it, it connects on this latch and is sliding right there so it's light in and then you attach to that uh, to that point right there and uh, it took me a few hours to get to this mode so now let's see if uh, I can show you uh, removing that, that connector in there the motor is right here Connectors right here in the latches are on on here on here. What you need to do is press on both sides and, and pull them. Ah, you see, I just release. Okay, finally is out the locks are here and here all right